Like, comment, subscribe. Share that. Oh. <laughs> Man, I just wanna go flex. Score on my teeth and on my neck. Jesus Christ, look at that separation. <laughs> Side shot of that. Oh boy. You say you're natty? <laughs> Eat Clint, trim hard. <laughs> it's brought to you by Fair. What's going on YouTube? Back again with a very quick video. Uh, I didn't actually plan on recording at all today, but I got the same question twice this week, so I figured I'd make a quick video. And I just finished doing an epic workout, chest workout with Gage, if you have me on Snapchat, right here, uh, Instagram. I'll put the links in the description, but. Question was, uh, training partners, should I have one? And that's a good question. It's such an, individual response to that question some people are self-motivated to go to the gym and absolutely kill it on their own um, for me I'm one of those people I love going to the gym it's part of my day so I can go to the gym and I can get through a big workout high volume uh, lots of energy and I don't really need a training partner but on days where uh, Gage is available to train with. He's the only person that I've trained with in a long time that can actually match my power and my intensity. So, and we have a good time. We're always joking around, screwing around and stuff like that in between our sets. Should you have a training partner? Completely up to yourself. If you feel like you need motivation, uh, you should probably look for either a personal trainer or a training partner. Obviously, personal trainers are going to be more expensive, but you have to be careful whenever you're picking a training partner though because a lot of times if they're busy just taking selfies if they're just going to the gym to say they go to the gym if they don't match your intensity and your energy it's going to completely throw off your workout so and i've had that before as well but uh I've trained with dozens of people over the years, and I've had some really good people that I train with. Uh, one of them is a 16-time national power lifter. I've also trained uh, with a guy, two guys actually, that went on to be provincial bodybuilding champions. So their style of training are completely different, and at the time, I was going through phases where I would do bodybuilding or I would do powerlifting, so it matched up perfectly. I've also had time, or I've also had trainers, partners, where, it just didn't work right it's the energy has to be there uh, the fun the power well not so much power I guess but it really sucks if you go from like when I was younger I trained when I trained with the power lifter I was deadlifting two plates he was deadlifting six plates it was a small gym so we had to constantly keep changing the plates and stuff like that. I felt, I felt maybe when I was younger that I felt it was kind of a buzzkill for him. Um, I was on cloud nine training with a power lifter, right? So the other thing is whenever you're looking for a training partner, you have to be okay with the fact that they're probably not going to stick it out long term. Um, I've probably trained with 30 or 40 people and they all kind of separate, whether it's jobs, careers kids some people get girlfriends and then they just completely forget about the gym whatever that's up to them 
Uh, some people will go from doing like bodybuilding, powerlifting workouts to maybe they want to join CrossFit or maybe they're going to turn into yogis or whatever it is, right? Maybe they just want to take the summer off. Totally fine. You can't get used to having a person uh, that's going to be there motivating you all the time because chances are it's not going to happen all the time. So you have to really find the motivation inside you to get out there and hit the workouts without having a training partner so and if you're one of the types of people that are just two situations that completely align uh, and you guys are able to hit the same times set the same energy and stuff like that and long term you guys can continue to work out by all means man just absolutely kill it gauge just switched jobs so his training times are a little differently so it doesn't really match up for us fortunately this week we were able to train twice uh, both excellent excellent workouts um, he's high volume I'm high volume so we always kill it when we're at the gym I think today we did 30 or 40 sets just for chest which I know is a lot of sets and a lot of volume but it works for us so we absolutely love training like that Hope that answers your question. If you're looking for a training partner, find one that matches up with your energy, your intensity. That's pretty much it. I mean, just have fun with it. Working out is fun. That's it for today's video. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button, drop a comment down below. And if you guys have any other questions or comments that would make a good video, just drop them down below. Snapchat me, that's usually where I get most of my questions, or Instagram. And uh, if I like the question, if I think it hasn't been overdone, then I'll definitely make a video on it. Man, I just wanna go flex.